Hello everybody and welcome back to How to Get All of the Stars in Super Mario 3D World for the Nintendo Wii U. This time I'll be doing, um, this is part 2 of this world, and I'll be doing World Bowser Dash 4 to World Bowser Dash Cast, to the, all the way up to the boss. I won't be showing any of the mini bosses, but, yeah I'm sure you can figure out the mini bosses by yourself, I mean they're not, well, it's just one star, but, yeah, your first dive's going to be right over here, you're going to want to grab this power star, come out a little bit to, to where the dry bones on the other side land, and grab your first star, and then with momentum you can actually just jump back like that. Get the flagpole, and no, we have not gone past any yet. I know we're quite far into the level and we should have, but no. I recommend doing this for the camera for this bit of the level. It's a bit easier in my opinion. So yeah, this entire thing, I believe, is going to just be, yeah, it's just a big circle, so you can just grab this, and go whichever way you like, whatever way you like. Grab all of these little green coins, and grab your stuff. Moving on now, there is a little twist and turn in this pathway, so you're going to want to jump across the ladder, or just go normally. The stamp is right over here, to the right of that little bit in the floor, the little shiny bit in the floor, just to the right you have to jump, and then you can make it. Your final star is going to be right over there, you probably saw it a little bit in the last frame there. It's right there, oh my god that was really lucky, I should not have made that. So yeah, it's just right here, you uh, bait the womp, jump on top of the little thing, and then run to the other side, and grab your last star, and that's going to be it for World Castle, I uh, mean, World Bowser Dash 4. Moving on now to World Bowser Dash 5, Deep Water Dungeon, there are three stars and one green stamp... Wait, no, there are three green stars and one stamp to collect. Okay, for this one, one of the stars is in a very, very strange place. Actually, all of the stars are in quite strange places. Oh, that was silly. Actually, yeah, all of the stars are in quite strange places, but... Um, You can just wall jump up here, so you don't have to wait for the elevator. There's just coins in that block, so you don't need to get that. Your stamp is going to be right over here, just the first, the first water elevator that you find, like the first big one, right over here with the blue spikes. You got to head, on, head down here and grab your cat suit. You're then going to want to take the cat suit and go all the way around the spikes. Even better use the water. I'm just a bit risky like that, so. Yeah, your first star is going to be right up here. You have to have the cat suit from earlier. Just to just climb up and grab your stuff. The second star is going to be right after this Tessie the Dolphin ride, you're just going to, you're going to want the cat suit again. And you just got to come over here, or the left or the right, climb up, climb up one more time, and you can get the star. No, you don't have to climb up one more time after that, either. Mind your way around these, just so you don't get hurt. You need to keep the cat suit to the end of the level. So don't get hit. By these spikes or anything like that. You can easily just do this by just being patient and dodging the spikes as you go, very, very slowly. And just before, just after this pipe, there's going to be a cloud. Now you've got to go through the cloud, go up, and it's going to take you to some paradise in the sky kind of thing. Well, you just gotta come over here with a cat suit, kill all of those, keep on going, and then grab your final star. And that is going to be it for World Bowser Dash 5. Moving on now to World Bowser Dash 6, a beam in the dark. You're gonna to wanna to be Luigi for this level, so as you, as you go in, you have to change to Luigi.
You're going to want to take this light bulb because it helps a lot. It helps a lot killing all the booze and stuff like that. Okay, this is why you need Luigi coming up over here. Because there is a switch right there that has an L on it and a green green sign. And obviously that represents Luigi, so we've got to go over here, step on it and grab our stamp. There's nothing for a little while now, I don't think, so... Oh wait, yeah, here we go. Using the reflection in the mirror, you can actually just walk right behind here. You don't have to walk into the mirror. But using the reflection in the mirror, it will hopefully help you guide your way. So you can get the next up. Using the light, you can kill all the ghosts again. Now, this level is quite a long level. It's quite a strange level. You don't need to, but... It gives you a Tanuki suit, and I love Tanuki suit, so I'm going to go get Tanuki suit. Tanuki suit, yes. See ya. Hit the pal, kill everything, probably. Heading into the door now, star number two is about to come up, and you've got to be light on your feet, so get ready. This elevator is going to spin you in exactly 180 degrees, I've tested it. Second star is just on the right over here, you just need to jump off. Hopefully you have your Tanuki suit or you the Tanuki suit makes it a lot easier, that's why you want it. But using the light bulb just kill all of the Jews, like try and like ground them all up into one spot and then just shine the light on them. And you'll claim your prize. That's the second star. Going into this door now, wait no, no no, no this door now. We'll take wait no, no, no that door. And then that door will take you outside, where you get like a thinner raft, like a much thinner raft, to make it a bit harder. And your final star is about to come up. It's not anything to do with the raft, so it's like there's a big ghost and you have to add the light bulb to kill him, or you've got to lure him away. It's just raft. Oh. These ghosts serve no purpose, they're just annoying, to be honest. Okay, a big ghost is going to spawn over there, he's going to want to come up here, shine the light on him. If you go up there, it makes you all safe, and then grab your final star. And that's going to be it for World Bowser Dash 6. Moving on though. Now to world Bowser Dash 7, Grumblump Inferno. There are three green cells and one stamp to collect. Uh, there's no specific character for this, I'm just going to go Mario to attract the views. Um, to get across this, don't jump, just walk like these little rabbit things are doing. That I just killed. Yeah, just walk. Because once, once you step on them, they go to a sad face. And then once you. Once you've arrived at your destination and gotten off, you'll go back to a happy place. Okay, I recommend um, flying over to these guys with the new suit and killing them. Just a little bit easier, in my opinion. First, I was going to be right over there, it's just easy to grab. I'll go to the new suit or even just a normal jump, probably. And now you can just jump right to your next bit. You don't have to kill these guys, so don't worry. You can just run straight past them so they don't kill you. And your stamp coming up now. You're gonna have to you're gonna do the rolling thing once and then don't jump. Just whatever you do, do not jump, you will go flying. I promise you, I've tried it before. You can grab your stamp using your Tanuki suit to kill that guy. If you don't notice already, your <laughs> Tanuki suit is highly recommended. Yep, don't jump here. Otherwise you will go flying. If you jump right at the end then you go flying in that direction, which is pretty cool. The second star now coming up is the eight green coins, so it shouldn't be too hard for you to get. 
And these lava things are annoying. Ugh. Yep, once you've got all of your eight green coins, you can just pick up a cell. And then move on. Your final star is going to be right up there. I say up. Well, it is up. But when your raft floats on its side like I did just then, not this, like when it floats on the, the smallest edge, so you just have to jump and grab yourself. You can then just glide back down, or just fall back down. Hopefully you'll survive. And that is going to be it for world this one. Yeah. Moving on now to world Bowser Dash Castle, the Great Tower of Bowser World, the final level in the game. Is that, oh, no, 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 not the final level in the game, the final level in the overworld that I will be recording. I won't be recording any other mine, uh, Super Mario 3D World tutorials, except I'll be recording three more, and they're going to be... One is going to be, the first one is going to come out, it's going to be bloopers. And the second one is going to be the bits that I missed. Oh, Mario just threw himself at a wall. That was good. And the last one is going to be... Uh, it's a mystery. You can, you, it's a mystery. You have to turn on post notifications to find out. You can just check that you're subscribed. Please do subscribe. Please. If you find it useful, just subscribe. Leave a like. Cost you nothing, means the world to me. I've got nearly 100 total views and 5 subscribers. Which tells me that I'm doing very, very well. I will be recording. I will upload today, which is Monday, Monday the 11th, I believe, and then tomorrow, which is January. Okay, your second. St wait, yeah, tomorrow is January 12th, Tuesday. So your second star's right there. You're just gonna want to kill all the bullies and then grab what's yours. You can then just climb back up with a cat suit, or you can wait for it to go all the way around, which is pretty boring if you ask me. So yeah, now you just want to go all the way down here, and don't worry, you haven't missed any stars or stamps. The stamp is probably why you guys are here. It is right at the end. Uh, once you've beaten Bowser, you go through the pipe, and then... On top of one, of, uh, on top of the nearest tree, I think a, I think a pixie is, a pixie, a sprixie, I don't know. I think it's a pixie, but it's on top of a, it's on top of a tree, and so is a stamp. The yeah, Bowser's gonna do some weird Transformers kind of rubbish and turn into a cat with red hair. That's a weird one. So yeah, your final star, your final star, that is the last time I'll be saying that, your final star, save as a moment, your final star, is going to be right up here, there's going to be a green hoop, you just want to touch that, and then come right over here, grab all of the green coins. And the last green coin you pick up will spawn the star. This music is very intense. The boss battle is not that hard, you just need to stay cool, calm and collected. You just need to stay chill. Don't like, try and... If you're about to fall off, just stay chill, like climb back up, don't mush every button like this, don't, don't just press everything. Dodge that fire, and then hit Bowser into the next dimension. Go 
filling up the green pipe now, or that was very red. So that's good. He's gonna use a cherry. Which isn't gonna be good. You can probably hear my little brother in the background. He's he's yeah, he's he's just having fun. He's always having fun. But um the final the final bit that I'm recording is gonna be this. My bloopers level will be coming out soon. Am I just doing again? How? What? I can't start this level again. I can't start it again. I've already tried like a hundred times. I've been here for like 20 minutes and I've just died in the same spot. I've just died in the same. Okay, this time we're not going to go to the right. We're going to go to the left. Can I even go to the left? No. Oh yeah, I can. Alright, heading up the tower now. You're just gonna wanna be patient, just chill, cool, calm and collected. Every crack in the wall like that one there, that's where a Bowser's gonna come out. Like, shout the plow. And wave his tail at you. And do a little dance. Heading up the tower now. This is really, really intense. This is, this is, I'm, I'm shaking. I'm not doing a facial roll for a little while. Until I, until I, maybe I like get a thousand subscribers, I might. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. So now you just gotta step up onto the podium, dash Bowser a few times, and that is going to be it. Slow motion captures, Pog Champ. Pog Champ is an abbreviation, by the way. It means yes, amazing. It is amazing. Pog Champ is amazing. Rest in peace. Salute. But um, yeah, this is this is it. The nostalgia. Oh god. Oh, this is nice, isn't it? It just gone from the lava land to Fairy Kingdom. And your final stamp is going to be right up here on this tree. Climb up the tree, do a cool front flip, grab your stamp. And you have to go over there and. Oh my god, I thought they were about to get captured again. That <laughs> wouldn't have been good. Stop getting captured, I've saved you a million times already, stop it. Save a princess on a daily basis. And that is going to be it. The Super Mario 3D World, not really, not really though, because there'll be like three more videos coming out. So make sure you turn on post notifications and subscribe and like and maybe comment, possibly share. Yes, we win. We win these. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. I'm gonna let the credits play, because it's cool.